Welcome to the Maxwell Technologies Engine Start Module installation video. We'll show you everything you need to know to professionally install the Engine Start Module. For this demonstration, we're installing the ESM in a Class 6 truck, but the principles are the same no matter what size truck you have, Class 3 through Class 8. Before we get started, we're going to do a cranking test to see how long it takes to start this truck before we install the ESM using the original truck batteries. With the stopwatch, you can see it takes approximately 1.7 seconds to start the truck engine with the original batteries. To begin the installation, we remove the battery cover. Note that this truck has three Group 31 lead acid batteries. The first thing we'll do is to disconnect all the battery cables from the batteries, then remove the hold down bar. We are going to pull one battery out and replace it with the engine start module. Now that we have all the cables disconnected, we're going to do a battery test on all three batteries. Here we have a standard battery tester available from any parts store that tells us if the battery is good, bad, and what its measured voltage and CCA rating is. Here you see the battery needs to be recharged even though it's good. It's not quite up to its 650 cc rating. The same with this battery, so we're going to pull one of those batteries and replace it with the engine start module for this installation. The next step is to locate the starter on the truck. As you can see, it's quite difficult to get to, but there it is. You can see the terminal connected to the starter solenoid positive lug. For this installation, we are going to keep the existing wiring and add a new 4 aught gauge cable from the starter solenoid to the ESM Starter Plus terminal. Inside the box are the engine start module, the user manual, and the quick installation guide. Please read these for all cautionary and warning statements and step-by-step -step installation procedures. First, remove the shorting wire between the starter plus and the battery minus of the engine start module. Then simply install the ESM into the battery box, making sure to align the battery positive of the ESM to the battery positive of the batteries. For this installation, we're going to prepare a new 4 aught gauge wire to run from the start plus terminal on the engine start module to the starter solenoid positive lug. Make sure you have good, tight crimp connections and heat shrink over the terminal as well. We also recommend wrapping any new cable you install with a high temperature corrugated wire loom. This will help prevent any damage to the cable from vibration or heat. Next, we remove the cable from the starter solenoid. As you can see in this photo, the cable lug has an integrated stud on it in which other items are connected to the starter solenoid. One is the alternator connection, and then there are a couple of smaller gauge connections that go off to the other electrical loads on the truck. We need to isolate all these from the starter solenoid. So, we're going to simply wrap this with an insulated material, tie wrap it to ensure it does not short out to other components, and then secure it to the other existing wire loom to minimize vibration. If that is not possible in the truck you're installing the engine start module on, we recommend a terminal block to tie off the accessory loads to the battery cable going to the battery positive and securely mounting that terminal block to a location on the frame. Now we're going to install the new 4 aught gauge cable that we built and run it from the battery box all the way up to the starter solenoid. As we do this, we're going to secure the new cable to the existing wire loom to make sure it does not vibrate. Once that is done, we can now reinstall the hold down bar across the batteries and reconnect the battery positive cables. This step will also connect the engine start module to the other two batteries on the truck. Make sure all connections are clean, free of grease and dirt, and tighten the nuts securely. Now we can repeat this process for all the negative side terminals. Again, make sure the terminals are clean, free of grease and dirt, and tighten the nuts securely. Once you have the positive and negative terminals connected to the ESM, it will begin charging. Press the push button on the top of the unit and you should see a green flashing light. This indicates that the ESM is charging and the light will flash for about 10 seconds and then extinguish. Before we install the cable from the starter solenoid to the start plus terminal on the ESM, we want to do one final test. With a voltmeter, measure the voltage from the free end of the cable to both battery positive and battery negative terminals on either the batteries or the ESM. In both cases, you should read zero volts. This tells us that there's nothing else connected to that cable except for the starter solenoid. If you do see a voltage reading, then there are some other issues that you will need to troubleshoot. Once you are complete with that test, go ahead and connect the cable from the starter solenoid to the starter plus terminal on the ESM. We can see the ESM voltage has already climbed to 15.14 volts, and now it should be ready to start the truck. We'll press the button one more time, and you should have a solid green light. This means the ESM is fully charged and ready to start. Now we'll do a timing test to see how much faster the engine start module cranks the engine. As you recall from the first test we did with batteries only, the engine started in 1.69 seconds. Now with the engine start module, it starts in 1.01 seconds, or about 7 tenths of a second faster than with batteries only. We'll also go back and check the voltage of the starter plus terminal on the ESM, and you can see it's automatically recharging back up to 15 volts. At this point, Make sure all your cables are secured and reinstall the battery box cover. 
This completes the installation of the Maxwell Technologies Engine Start Module.